Picture this. It's 2005 and the radio is blaring with one of the most infectious songs of the year, One Thing by A. Marie. That raw percussive beat. Her powerful edgy vocals and the song's undeniable energy make it an instant classic. Yet as quickly as she burst onto the scene, A. Marie seemed to step out of the spotlight, leaving fans with one lingering question. What happened? Today, we're diving into the rise and fall of A. Marie, a pioneer who redefined R&B with her unique sound, her impact on the genre, and the industry challenges that kept her from reaching her full potential. A. Marie Me Maria Rogers was born to a Korean mother and an African-American father, and from an early age, she was exposed to a rich blend of cultural influences. Her father's military career meant the family moved frequently, from Alaska to Texas to Germany, giving young A. Marie a diverse perspective on life and music. She had always been a performer, and by her college years, A. Marie knew music was her calling. She enrolled at Georgetown University, studying English and fine arts, but was often drawn to Washington, D.C.'s local music scene. Here, she met producer Rich Harrison, a fellow D.C. native. At the time, Harrison was an emerging talent who would later work with Destiny's Child, Jennifer Lopez, and Beyonce. Their connection was immediate. They shared a vision of blending the traditional R&B sound with something grittier and more percussive. Rich Harrison's love for DC's go-go music, a subgenre known for its heavy beat and high-energy rhythms, became the foundation of A. Marie's breakout sound. Together, they created a unique style that would soon catch the world's attention. In 2002, A. Marie released her debut album, All I Have, led by the single, Why Don't We Fall In Love? The track climbed the R&B charts, and her style was a refreshing departure from the smooth, polished R&B sound dominating the industry at the time. A. Marie's vocals had grit, strength, and an edge that captivated listeners. She was soulful yet powerful, blending a soft vulnerability with assertive energy that made her stand out. The All I Have album was a success, showcasing A. Marie's vocal range, emotional depth, and Rich Harrison's innovative production. Songs like Talking To Me highlighted their creative partnership. giving fans a glimpse of what was possible when artists pushed boundaries. Critics praised A. Marie's style, noting how her music embraced and elevated go-go rhythms, a genre rarely seen on the mainstream stage. A. Marie's approach to music was different. It was raw, rhythmic, and uninhibited. She wasn't just another R&B singer, she was a trendsetter. But the true game changer was yet to come. Three years later in 2005, a. Marie released One Thing, the lead single from her sophomore album, Touch. The song was an instant success thanks to its groundbreaking production and A. Marie's fearless vocal performance. Rich Harrison had created a beat like no other, featuring an infectious breakbeat sample from the meter's O oh Calcutta. The beat's rapid-fire drumline, A. Marie's piercing vocals, and the song's high-energy delivery made it impossible to ignore. One Thing soared to number eight on the Billboard Hot 100 and became a cultural phenomenon. The song defined the sound of 2005 and even landed on the Hitch movie soundtrack, further solidifying its place in pop culture. What made One Thing so revolutionary was its rawness. It didn't follow the industry's formulaic R&B structure. The song had a spontaneity and freedom that captured the essence of A. Marie's style. Unpredictable, bold, and original. This track proved that A. Marie wasn't just an artist. She was an innovator pushing R&B into new, exciting directions. The Touch album expanded on this sound, with A. Marie experimenting more with rhythmic patterns and melodic lines. However, as much as the album showcased her growth, it also marked the beginning of her challenges with the music industry. Despite the album's critical acclaim and its fresh sound, her label struggled to promote her vision not fully understanding how to market her unique style. Following the success of One Thing, many expected A. Marie to become one of R&B's biggest stars, but behind the scenes, there was a different story unfolding. As her career began to accelerate, A. Marie found herself clashing with Columbia Records over her creative direction. The label wanted her to lean into more mainstream formulaic R&B sounds, while A. Marie wanted to keep experimenting, 
blending go-go, funk, and even rock elements into her music. She wanted to stay true to her roots and create music that resonated with her artistic vision. This tug of war over creative control affected the release and promotion of her third album, Because I Love It, in 2007. Because I Love It was a bold project that showed A. Marie's evolution as an artist. Songs like Gotta Work continued her signature use of heavy beats, while tracks like Take Control demonstrated her vocal versatility. The album was praised internationally, especially in the UK, where it achieved significant success. However, it received little to no promotion in the US, leaving her American fan base largely in the dark. Her label's failure to support Because I Love It highlighted a recurring issue for A. Marie. She was an artist ahead of her time, creating music that didn't fit neatly into the industry's molds. After the setbacks with Because I Love It, A. Marie took matters into her own hands. She decided to leave her label, focusing on releasing music independently. This decision allowed her the freedom she craved, but also meant stepping away from the resources of a major label. Her 2009 album, In Love and War, was her first independent release in the US. Here, A. Marie explored themes of love, conflict, and resilience, addressing her experiences in the industry and her personal life. The album received positive reviews, but without a major label's marketing power, it didn't reach the wider audience it deserved. Beyond music, A. Marie also began exploring new creative outlets. She developed a love for literature and launched a YouTube channel and book club, showcasing her passion for storytelling and personal growth. Her followers saw a different side of her, an intellectual, thoughtful artist who valued creativity in all its forms. A. Marie also ventured into writing, reflecting her deep connection to her art and her fans. While her mainstream music career was on a quieter trajectory, A. Marie remained an influential figure, demonstrating that artists don't need to conform to industry standards to succeed. A. Marie's impact on modern R&B is undeniable. She pioneered a sound that combined traditional R&B with go-go, funk, and hip-hop influences, paving the way for future artists. Her music's raw rhythmic edge has inspired many, from Beyonce to Rihanna and Solange. In fact, the success of One Thing arguably laid the groundwork for artists experimenting with percussive beats and unconventional song structures in today's R&B. Moreover, A. Marie's journey resonated with fans and other artists alike. She became a symbol of artistic integrity, someone who was willing to sacrifice mainstream success to stay true to her vision. Her story also reflects the broader struggles of black female artists in the music industry, women who are often pressured to fit specific molds and face pushback when they choose to innovate. While A. Marie may not have reached the commercial height some expected, her influence on R&B and pop music is lasting. She showed the industry that innovation doesn't always come from the top selling artists, but from those who are willing to take risks, challenge norms, and trust their creative instincts. Her work with Rich Harrison and her fusion of go-go with R&B remain a significant contribution to the genre. Today, A. Marie's story is one of resilience and creativity. She continues to make music on her terms, explore her passion for storytelling, and connect with her audiences in new ways. Her journey reminds us that true artistry is more about the art than chart-topping hits. It's about the legacy an artist leaves through their influence, their courage, and their commitment to authenticity. A. Marie may not have achieved the level of fame that some of her peers did, but her mark on R&B is unmistakable. She dared to be different, breaking barriers with her unique sound and defying industry expectations. Her story is one of strength, creativity, and resilience, a testament to the power of staying true to one's vision. And for fans, a. Marie will always be the artist who gave us one thing, a song that, like her legacy, remains timeless.